Streaming now. This is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're all having a great start to your Thursday starting tomorrow down in Kalamazoo. It is the latest rendition of the Grand Rapids Comic Con. It's always a super packed event. And to talk a little bit more about the convention, we are now being joined by Mark Hodges. He is the event director and co-owner of GR Comic Con. Mark, thank you so much for being here today. Hi, kids. Yeah, no, we're definitely happy to have you. Definitely happy to continue talking about uh, Comic-Con that's coming up this weekend, the whole weekend long, uh, down in Kalamazoo. But it is called G Grand Rapids Comic-Con. It's going to be down in Kalamazoo this year. Uh, people are probably wondering, why the switch this year around? Well, it's a building, building issue. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Delta Flex Post, which is where we host the Spring Show, we talk to the boss space. They could not accommodate it. They have other things going on, going on. nothing more than that. Mm -hmm. So we did some shopping around West Michigan, other facilities, and Kalamazoo Expo Centers to us to be the ideal place to hold these smaller shows. So here we are. Yeah. No, definitely. And it's going to be still an exciting event. You know, the, the location. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, people are still going to be showing up to it. Um, but for people that maybe this is their first time heading down to a Comic-Con or uh, maybe they are unfamiliar with the whole process of it, but they want to check it out for themselves. What are some of the things that maybe they can expect to see with some of the different vendors that are going to be there, some of the other opportunities they're going to have to check out? Sure. Well, there's about 100 vendors that are going to be here, and they sell all kinds of stuff for a lot of rare stuff, a lot of comic books, a lot of popular culture kind of stuff, fun clothes, those kind of things. Um, you also have Hollywood celebrities, uh, comic artists, best-selling authors, uh, some professional cosplayers, some of the local groups like the 501st and things of that nature. Um, about 50 hours worth of programming, film festivals, costume contest on Saturday popular quite a bit going on mm -hmm. right now and you mentioned those celebrity guests and I kind of wanted to get into that a little bit mark uh, a lot of big name guests will be uh, all throughout the weekend down in Kalamazoo for Comic-Con can sure. you kind of go into just who exactly is gonna be there sure there's gonna be cast members from Death Note which is a real popular anime we also have Ian James Corlett who's a last second edition he is the original voice of Goku and Dragon Ball Z, which is a very, very popular series. He also was the original Mega Man of the video game series. And he also was in Loot back in the day. He's done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things. We also have Karen Ashley, Mighty, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. We have, um, sorry, I'm going to bring that there. Um, The star from Star Wars Rebels, I'm drawing a blank, the same Taylor Gray. Mm -hmm. We also have um, two cast members from Star Trek. Uh, Terry Farrell, who was Jesse Adax in Deep Space Nine, and Jeffrey Holmes, who has done hordes and hordes of characters for them. Um, most known for the leader of the Dominion in the Dominion Wars, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He also was Dr. Herbert West in the reanimator films those are people who saw those and we have three guests coming in from japan which makes that look neat. we have um marie shimizu who is the original voice of astro boy for anime fans that's an absolute treat because it she's considered the original anime voice in the world and it's her first u.s appearance in Kalamazoo. And also, we have Ben Farua, who is the original Ultraman on TV. People who remember that show from the 60s and 70s. He was a guy in the show. So that's pretty neat. And as artists, there's two huge names coming in. Yuji Kaida, who is a world-famous Kaiju, which is giant monsters, and Godzilla artist from Japan. He actually did a lot of concept artists for Toho Studios and Godzilla movies for the past 40 years. So that is a very rare opportunity 
He's only been in the United States twice in 10 years. And also coming uh, is Jim Skarenko, who is in comics an absolute legend. Um, anyone who reads a book in the history of comics, there's a chapter written about Skarenko because he's the guy who brought graphic design into the comic profession. His books were revolutionary looking compared to other books of the day. Mm-hmm. So that is that is also really special. Yeah, no, and you mentioned just a ton of names, a lot of big-time celebrities. Uh, you mentioned the original voice of Astro Boy, first U.S. appearance. I mean, that's a huge get for Grand Rapids Comic Con. What does it mean to you to really have these big names at your event? And is there anyone in particular, or maybe a certain vendor, a certain thing that's going on during the convention that you're really amped up about? The one that, for me, would be Yuji Kaida. I want to meet the original. I want to meet a guy who did boards of art for Godzilla films. That's deep. That's deep. And um, the Japanese guests in particular for me, Marisha Mizu, I'm looking forward to meeting. I'm looking forward to meeting Ben Marua. I'm really looking forward to meeting them. Mm-hmm. Right, and of course, you know, people are going to want to know how they can get down there. You've really laid down what's going to be happening this weekend for sure. multiple days down in Kalamazoo. How can people grab these tickets, these extra passes that they may need to check out some of these celebrities, some of these other vendors? What do they need to know about getting down to uh, Grand Rapids Comic Con this weekend? Well, the general admission for people who don't want to pay the extra fees or tickets go up at the door like any other event. You can get them at Rocket Comics in Portage until about 6 p.m. today. Then they're going to get pulled, and then you have to then you have to come to the event and buy at the door. It's a little different this time because we have all the tickets outside. We have a few buildings we brought in that are going to have all the ticket outlets in them. All right, sounds good, Mark. Well, Mark, again, I really do appreciate you coming on the live desk today. It's been fantastic really talking about this event. Very excited about it. Uh, But the floor is yours. We want to turn it over to you now, give you the final word. Why should people head on down to Kalamazoo this weekend and check out the Grand Rapids Comic Con? You're going to have a lot of fun. It's a very entertaining, fun event. A lot going on. Bring your camera empty and your phone because you will see tons of people in all kinds of costumes, ranging from stuff you buy at Halloween USA to borderline Hollywood stuff that people have in significant money invested. Mm-hmm. So it's it's very worth coming and, and taking a look. Like there's there's some people that actually crack jokes in their costumes. It's fun. Like there's a guy who goes to a lot of shows where he does a Deadpool version a Pikachu for Pokemon. It's funny. <laughs> he's very enter. He's at a lot of events. He's very, very enter. Mm-hmm. Right. No, definitely sounds like there's just something for everybody. Going to be a ton of, ton of fun this weekend, Mark. I want to thank you again for the last time for coming on the Wood TV Live Desk today. We really do appreciate learning a little bit more about it. And I want to remind everybody that if you're interested in finding out more information, we've got everything you need to know over on our website, woodtv.com. Mark, thank you again so much for coming on. We really do appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a good time, kids. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning in to this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.